For more than 80 years, the Research Institute of Automotive Engineering and Vehicle Engine Stuttgart, FKFS, has dedicated itself to the task of improving the driving dynamics and efficiency of motor vehicles. Both aerodynamics and aeroacoustics significantly influence these vehicle properties. Simulations allow for a good approximate representation of fluid mechanics problems. To precisely assess the vehicle properties under real conditions, however, there is no substitute for a wind tunnel. In the aeroacoustic wind tunnel of the FKFS, the interplay between various environmental factors can be metrologically recorded and evaluated. Continuous advances in research and further technological developments mean that ever greater flexibility and expertise are required to meet market requirements. The last uh, update was more than 10 years ago. We, we invested in a wonderful uh, five belt uh, system, but today we feel that we can do better with our new systems, keeping up with the technology yeah. development, keeping up with wind tunnel development, and improving our technology beyond the technology which is around us. So we are a university institute and we are a, a service supplier at FKFS and we are doing research and we always have to be beyond the state of the art. So automotive technology is proceeding, our wind tunnel knowledge is proceeding to constantly upgrade it. In order to modernize its wind tunnel, the FKFS created the Fluid Dynamics Innovation Group. For a decade, the group conducted research aimed at developing more efficient components and processes. This work produced four groundbreaking innovations, making the Stuttgart facility the most advanced university-operated wind tunnel in Europe. The first innovation in the modernized wind tunnel is known as FIRST. This abbreviation stands for Fully Interchangeable Road Simulation Technology. It's the name given to the system of moving belts. A realistic measurement of drag is only possible if the vehicle's wheels turn on the test bench exactly as they do on the road. The new system of moving belts combines two designs in one wind tunnel. The five belt system comprises a central belt and four wheel drive units. It's primarily designed for production vehicles, as a large number of measurements can be performed here in an economically efficient manner. However, it only offers a narrow support surface for the tires, and limited variation possibilities as regards the width of the vehicle. The three-belt system is used for sports and racing cars, as well as larger vehicles. The individual wheel units of the five-belt system are replaced by two lateral belts. In addition to a high level of cost efficiency, the two systems also result in a time saving. Only a few hours are required to switch from one system to the other. The second major innovation in the modernized wind tunnel is called Swing and stands for Side Wind Generator. It comprises eight wings, which can be used to influence the airflow that the test vehicle is exposed to. The individual wings can either move in parallel to one another or independently. The wind in the test tunnel can be generated equally as dynamically as it occurs in real traffic. This means it's not only possible to simulate crosswinds of varying speeds, but also the wind drag when overtaking a truck. The non-static wind conditions also generate an irregular level of noise. This is very beneficial for aeroacoustic measurements. Swing thus allows for considerably greater optimization potential in terms of the vehicle's acoustic properties. However, it's not until the obtained data is passed on to the FKFS-operated driving simulator that the potential of swing is fully exploited. In the driving simulator, the test driver can now also sense the behavior of the vehicle when exposed to crosswinds or turbulence. This allows for the driver's response to be examined directly. And the driver would like uh, to have a car like a pair of shoes which fits him best and which driving behavior he likes best and uh, most relaxed and most safely. And subjective rating is a very efficient way and very quick way to come to the best uh, result. Much more efficient than just designing with the help of numbers and later hoping that the driver's feeling will match the numbers. PACE is the third innovation in the modernized wind tunnel and stands for pad correction procedure. PACE allows for the lift forces on a vehicle to be correctly measured. 
Upon a vehicle being subjected to a measurement in the wing tunnel, it's typically exposed to a lift force. Due to the design of the five belt system, parts of the wheel drive units remain uncovered by the tire. The lower pressure of the airflow also leads to lift forces here. This means that the measured values are higher than those which actually occurred. The vehicle is therefore fixed to the floor of the wind tunnel to ensure a correct measurement. This means that the individual lift forces can be separated and quantified as part of a differential measurement. In the following measurements on the non-fixed vehicle, the lift force of the pads is deducted from the overall lift force. The result? More accurate measurements than ever before. FKFS BEST stands for Bayland Silent Stabilizer. This innovation likewise deals with a problem which occurs in wind tunnels. During the operation of the wind tunnel, the accelerated air mixes with the calm air in the wind tunnel plenum. This leads to ring vortices emanating from the jet nozzle. These move downstream through the plenum and induce resonances in the wind tunnel at certain wind speeds, the so-called buffeting. This buffeting leads to incorrect force and acoustic measurements. BEST comprises several airflow guiding elements which are placed in the jet nozzle. These disperse the ring vortices and prevent the excitation of resonances in the wind tunnel. In doing so, they cause no additional noise themselves. The excitation of resonances in wind tunnels with a closed airflow, however, represents a multifaceted problem. For this reason, a further measure was implemented. A Helmholtz resonator with a specific volume was installed outside on the Metrology Lab building. The Helmholtz resonator absorbs pressure peaks of a specific frequency in the wind tunnel. In combination with the Bayland Silent Stabilizer, it's now possible to perform fully interference-free measurements. An overview once more of the benefits of the modernizations. FKFS first sees the combination of two moving belt systems in a wind tunnel. They provide a high level of flexibility and precision. FKFS swing allows for dynamic wind flows to be simulated. This is also beneficial for aeroacoustic measurements. With FKFS pace, the lift forces on a vehicle are measured more precisely than ever before. And with FKFS best, the buffeting in the wind tunnel is diminished, an important prerequisite for developing even quieter cars. Thus, a number of reasons speak in favor of using the FKFS wind tunnel. Running a complex facility and running complex tools is really allocating a lot of competence and a lot of resources. Other customers which have their own tunnels, they may not have the special features like side wind generators, like unsteady aerodynamics. So they may want to see, is this necessary? How important is it? What is our benefit and how often do we need it? Thanks to the modernization work, the FKFS wind tunnel boasts clear, unique selling points. Nevertheless, as a research institution, the FKFS sees itself as obligated to continue its work as it strives for improved methods and solutions. This is the tradition of the FKFS and will continue to be so. After all, it's not for the first time that the Research Institute of Automotive Engineering and Vehicle Engine Stuttgart has been a pioneer in the area of wind tunnel development. We have seen development to acoustic wind tunnels some 20 years ago. We have seen the development towards a rolling road system some 10 years ago. And now, I believe for a while, we will see the development to unsteady capability, to unsteady aerodynamics, and FKFS is amongst the very first uh, to do this. In the future, we'll go on with wind tunnel uh, research, and I think we will, we will drive uh, the subject uh, further. <laughs>